Hey guys and welcome back to the channel for another video and in today's video we're going to talk about some of the mods worth buying to make your bike go faster. So let's get right into it. So the first mod we're going to be talking about is tires. Now if you guys have watched my most recent video you guys would already know that we already did a tire mod for our dirt bikes. That'll be up here in the corner. So if you go up in tire size, like a rim diameter, you can get a higher top speed that way, or dropping tire size can actually help give you more acceleration or a more torquey feel, uh, as well as just getting some new, good, genuine rubber instead of the old Chinese junk tires that have on some of the Chinese dirt bikes. Uh, getting some like genuine Dunlops or something along those lines is gonna give you way better performance out on the trails. So our second mod that's gonna help with when you're going faster is a set of hand guards, or bark busters is another name for them, and you're like, what, hand guards? How's that gonna help you go faster? Well, if you got, uh, a treed wooded area that you're riding in and there's lots of debris whacking in hands or it can help when you fall over if you drop on the bike and you drop it into a set of rocks and stuff you break your clutch lever well you're not gonna be going that fast if you don't have a clutch lever you're not gonna be going that fast if you bust off your front brake because well you won't have brakes then so you can't slow down so you can't really go that fast and it ruins the rest of your ride there'll be links down below for all the mods I'm talking about uh, including this one now one of the best bang for buck mods you guys can do is doing a sprocket change in your bike so taking out the front gear that it has and putting on a larger sprocket with more teeth on it and that's going to increase your top speed and once again i have a video on this covering this whole topic in depth up here you guys can check that video out and that's a great video uh, showing you how you can get some more top speed or if you can go into a smaller uh, front sprocket you can actually go down and get some more acceleration uh, you'll lose a bit of your top speed but you get some more torque the gear set is probably one of the cheapest mods that you can do to make your dirt bike faster and I'd recommend it to any dirt bike is to go through and get your gearing correctly set to where you're riding because all sorts of different terrain will need different gearing now the fourth thing and one of the key things to getting your fueling correctly is getting a good genuine carb uh, or even some of the Amazon knockoffs they work is fine as well you just got to tune them in with any carb you got to tune it uh, and dial in the fuel trimming and all that. Once again, I have a video and I uh, will put that up in the corner. But a carburetor is really going to help you get the maximum out of your bike and actually get the most performance of what you have out of your engine. So when you remove some of the fuel, you're actually going to create more power. So lean is mean. Uh, if you're really rich, you're not going to be making as much power as if you took some of that fuel out. So the carburetor will let you take out some of that fuel and you can actually get more power out of your engine. You need to be careful and that you don't go too lean because then you'll blow up your engine. So there's definitely a fine line. So now you just added your carburetor to your, your cart and you want to pick one of those up. If you're going to buy a carburetor, the next thing you're going to need to get is definitely get a UNI two-stage foam filter. That's just a, a mile better head than the uh, the cone filter that comes stock on the bike. They're super junk and you can see right through the filter and you definitely don't want that. If you can see through the filter, it's clearly not getting enough particles out and you're just gonna get a bunch of dirt inside your carburetor, gums up your carburetor, then your bike's gonna be slower. So if you get a good filter on there, you're not gonna have dirt going in your carb, not gonna be gumming up anything and messing with the throttle application and your bike can stay running perfect and it'll help you get the most amount of airflow uh, that's not coated in dirt so you don't just destroy your whole engine and all that and you can keep having the most amount of power in your bike bonus tip if you're going to be doing the air filter you're going to need some air filter oil so i strongly suggest you get some air filter oil because uh, if you're just running the foam filter dry you're going to suck in some particles that it just works a whole lot better if you can saturate an oil now this is a specific kind of oil just for putting on air filters this is not just motor oil or gear oil or something like that this is a very specific uh, foam filter application uh, for an air filter. So go ahead. I'll put links once again for all the products down below and you guys can check that out. So now you're making power. You got the bikes running great. It's screaming. It's revving to the moon. You're riding it. It's a great time. You're having a blast. Don't forget to do this mod is get some good engine oil. Don't cheap out. Don't put just some generic crappy car engine oil that's like five bucks at the gas station that stuff's going to destroy your engine it doesn't like being revved to the moon get super hot super cold super hot super cold it doesn't like that so put some good oil in i got some good oil i'll show you guys right here this oil put it in all the bikes i put it in everything everything that's like a, a dirt bike that i've ever owned or any of the quads this is like this is like the stuff to go to. This is the go-to stuff. I put it in both my bikes. Now while we're talking about oils and fluids, let's get about the next fluid that's in your bike. Gasoline. Don't be putting cheap gas and put some good gas and you're gonna notice the pep and power out of that higher octane fuel. Don't put that cheap 87, put some 94, some premium, some octane booster in that stuff. Get that fuel nice and peppy uh, and race race gas if you got it. If you got some race gas, throw some race gas in. It's gonna run faster, man. If, if you got it, throw it in there. So yeah, some fuel. Fuel is super important. Put some good fuel in. 
in it, your bike will be happy, making lots of power. A uh, bonus mod for you guys is a seat grab handle. If you don't have one already, I strongly recommend you make one of these. You may be going fast, but when you're stuck in the mud, you ain't going anywhere. So a seat handle is gonna help you pull your bike out of the mud and out of a sticky situation or help just pull it up that ledge or whatever it may be that you need or just help you pick the bike up when you drop it down. So a seat handle is a great mod to do. And I do have a video up above on how to make a seat handle so you guys can go ahead and check that one out. Now, let's talk about two more mods that you could do to increase power, make your bike faster. It's gonna cost you a bunch more money and it's gonna take a bit more effort to do, but they are totally worth it. And those two options are, the first is gonna be a big bore kit. So if you wanna up your CC in your pit bike, uh, and put a bigger piston in it and bore out the block. Uh, that's something you can look into um, and you'll get more power out of it. You do need to be a bit of more mechanically inclined to do that because you're gonna have to disassemble the entire engine. So that's what's gonna come into their second option. And this is what I've done. Also have a video up on this above, uh, is doing an engine swap. So if you wanna put a bigger engine into your dirt bike, there's quite a possibility of doing that. So once again, I have a video covering that. I put a 150cc into my pit bike and that is my Apollo dirt bike that I have and ride up in the woods you guys see me all the time with. Uh, but yeah, that one has a 150cc swap in it, so you guys can go ahead and check that video out, and I will show you how to do an engine swap into your dirt bike, which is super worth it. And if you blow up your engine, why not put a bigger engine into it, make some more power while you're at it. It was like 100 bucks more for me to put a, a bigger engine in it than it was the smaller original engine, so I decided why not? I think it'd be a perfect thing to do. Now, if doing an engine swap in your bike is something that you're maybe toying with the idea of, I definitely strongly recommend uh, checking out that video, and you guys can see really you guys can see really what it all involves doing uh, and what you're gonna need for modifications to be able to do an engine swap or that kind of uh, ballpark thoughts of what you need to do. Uh, so you guys can go ahead, check that video out uh, and that'll be a super handy tip and helpful one for you guys. If you guys wanna make some serious more power, some noticeably more horsepower, I gained I think 30% more horsepower by doing an engine swap compared to the original engine. So for me, it was like a super worth it mod. Uh, yeah, but other than that, I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna see any more mods on how to make your bike more reliable, I will go ahead and throw that video right up here and you guys can see how I make my bike more reliable to enjoy on the trails and have a not breakdown. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.